Hey guys, Kems1492 coming at ya. Today we're going to be doing a hot sauce review. We've got a special guest on the show today, my good old uncle Yako. Alright, today we're going to be doing a hot sauce review on the Afterburner by the Hippie C Company. Alrighty. Get our spoons. Get our spoons cranking. You can have the teaspoon. Shake it up. I'm doing a tablespoon today. Alright, and I'll give my uncle the bottle so he can get it on his spoon. Oh, oh, alright. Smells alright too. <laughs> yeah. Really sweet. Get it in ya. Mm. I like that sweet taste though. Straight up, you get your sweet taste. Oh, now you got a bit of a burn, not much. Then you, so. got, then you got that afterburn. What the afterburn does. Alrighty. Flavour wise, what would you give that on flavour? What, in sweetness or which flavour are you talking about? Overall flavour. And spiciness? And spiciness. You give it a rate. I'd give it a rate of three. In heatness, three for heat. Yep. Maybe, maybe a nine for nine for flavor. flavor. Heat rating. They they have gave it an eight out. <gasps> oh shit! Hiccups. They've gave it an eight. I'll probably give it maybe a four or five. But I had a taste. <gasps> I had a teaspoon, so I'm hiccuping. But the ingredient. Uh, the ingredients in this are uh, bird's eye, scotch bonnets, oh sorry, um, scotch bonnets, grapes, brown sugar, um, vinegar, garlic, ginger, rock salt, peppercorns, lemon juices and bay leaves. Yes, I'm crying. I know this. All right, I'd like to get... Don't cry, mate. Flavour-wise, I'll give that an 8 because I really like that. First up, you get that sweet taste. You'll be right, mate. Then you get that afterburn. Um, so that was flavour. Heat-wise, heat 5. I am crying, but that's all. But, um... I'd just like to give a shout out to my mate Calvin. <clears throat> um, he does. He also does hot sauce reviews and um, videos. And yeah, I'm Kems1492. Latest.